in the Admirals penalty. And that's maybe especially as a guy the Admirals would dearly love to have. A, and the Devils bring it right back out. Here's Zaleski up and over the line. Gives to Butler. Left ring shot. Save made. Rebound. Loose in front of Tippina. Little backhander. Goes off the leg pads of Bob Kolf who reaches down and denies Joe Whitney. And he's on the rebound. But the Admirals left side. Gives it up again and trying to send it back. Off and all but he's stick in the corner. Bondin puts it beyond the net. Elkin centers. He him a backhander. A save made. Loose puck in the slot area. And the crease area knocked away by McPherson, but not out of the zone. Held in by Vaughton and again to the circle. A shot and a low save by Kincaid with 17 seconds on the Admiral's power play. Opposing power plays. Devils get it back out to Larson to the right side ring for Zaleski. Back of the high slot. Larson goes left wing one timer off the crossbar from Bobby Butler. Butler leading the team. Fed back out by Wiseman to Gelida. Back to Wiseman. Left side ring with a shot. And dropping to his knees. The glove save. An easy one for Igor Bobko. To get back in the lineup. He gets hurt again. Here's Sestito, a driving shot save made. Scramble on the rebound, and sitting down on top of it is Bobkoff. He looked behind for a moment and then sat down on top of it. A little pushing here at the end of the play. Sestito and Shells grabbing on. Sestito really wants a piece of Shells. They're going to let him go, and they're going to fight. Sestito and Shells down in the Admiral zone. Right now, both helmets are on, but the gloves are off. Little jab from Shells. A nice right hand from Sestito catching Shells. And down he goes to the ice. So not much of a fight, but it looked like Sestito got the one good punch in. Shell's not hurt, but did appear Eric opting for the hockey route. Puck back out, blue line, knocked down by Palmieri, who's got it on a breakaway. Up ice, deking, backhander, and he threw it right behind Kincaid. But why did it go to the corner? Playing that first game on the road. Many of the guys, in fact, will be heading directly into Syracuse rather than back to Hampton Roads. Here's a center ice steal, moving it down the right wing, and a blast by Darcy Zanjas. River Rats were in existence as a New Jersey affiliate. Then the Devils move their affiliation on to Lowell, although the River Rats back down ice, chased by Matias Tedenby, drops it in the slot. From there, a shot by McPherson, save made, rebound shot, high off target and out of play. Off the stick of Brandon Burla, the point man. Across to Whitney, back to that guy Larson. Polk checked away, McMillan sends it down ice. He'll race down with a goalie who's out there to knock it down and beat him to it. Side ring, hesitates, moves behind the goal. Now stops, tips low in the ring, and a shot by Josephson. That one saved to the glove. And held by Bobkoff with 3.03 remaining. Scoreless, puts it behind the net for Holland, gets it right back, moves to the corner, Maroon, cutting into the slot, gets by a man, moves in, has the backhander and a save made by Kincaid. What a strong move by Patrick Maroon. After whistles, both goaltenders have made a couple of big saves when called upon. The two clubs combining to go 0 for 6 on the power play. Here's a loose bouncing puck, Bobby Butler finds it, and from in front of the net, backhands it home. And the stalemate is broken, 1-0 Albany. Now finds into the Albany zone. Smith Pelly, left side corner. Gives it off, tipped by McMillan, played back out near the blue line. Parent across to Gannon with a shot, deflection, save Kincaid. Far wall, Elkins again trying to get it near the point. It's tipped away and down ice, a break for Whitney. Will it be caught by Hendry? He hesitates, and a nice poke check by Hendry to knock that puck away. And it's back beyond the goal line. What a play by Hendry. Very Third good. with the Antwils down by a goal. And if you think the Devils have been playing defensively throughout the night, wait till you get a little more here late in the game. Right point shot by McPherson. That one hits somebody in a diving. Bob Goff, if it had grabbed it off to Vonden. Sammy Vonden skates it to center. Drags by a man, hits the blue line, comes to the right. Ring a shot low and dropping down. Kincaid, another outstanding save. No rebound. How? Down to go. And then we get plenty of chances right after that. That's what he brings. Another clean win by the Admirals, but a Paul Mary shot is broken up. Back to Holland. Left point shot. Low glove save. A nice level by Kincaid. So Pelly's won. Paul Mary and Edom, the other guys on the ice. Another clean Pelly win. Across the ice to Vonden. Vonden puts it behind the net for Maroon. Trying to center it. Blocked down. Gets it back. Centers in front. Deflection. Score! Emerson Edom has tied the game. All hands on deck. 
with 33 seconds to play. It's a 1-1 one -one tie. Well, he, he got called for questionable call last week in the overtime, so I expect, to, again, to see him out there playing a lot of minutes in this five-minute overtime. But, I mean, Sammy Botnan, he's got, he's got some moves. He's got some skills. I think this is his time. All right, the Antlers begin the period. They win the draw. Edom racing in. Right ring has an angle. Cuts in and scores in the first shift of the overtime. Edom darts by the defense. Six seconds. And wins it. Six seconds. Six seconds into overtime. Emerson Edom wow. brings a crowd of 45-66 to their feet. It's a come from behind two to one Norfolk victory tonight. <laughs> I guess that's uh, Emerson Edom. We're talking about it. That nice little line combination. How's that one? I mean, that's two goals in less than 40 seconds. 30. What was it? 30, 33, or something like that. Oh, big, big goals. Boy, the defense for all, but he just got flat-footed. Edom raced by. Went from a backhand to the other side and beat Kincaid to win the game. Well, if you're going to have somebody beat a defenseman, it would be an Emerson Edom. I don't think he'd want to send me on a breakaway in overtime. <laughs> so the Admirals with a two-game sweep of the Devils, whose overtime miseries continue this year. They have lost all seven of their games that have gone to overtime. The Admirals, meanwhile, have won. Five of six that have gone to overtime this season. What a thriller tonight. Well, that's gonna be that's gonna be a big one for Emerson Edom. Now Peter Holland won the draw just to his right. Edom picked it up just outside the center ice ring and just raced in all alone and cut right around a defender and scored. Well, we talk about that you start four and four, that defender, they, a lot of teams they'll do that. They'll only leave the one single defender back there. They might the other guy will cheat up a little bit, and that's exactly what happened. The D was cheating up on, on this side, and that guy was left.